Once again, Angela Mackley, uh, staff attorney with Community Legal Services of Mid-Florida is with us and we've been asking her a lot of legal questions that uh, if you're in a low income situation or you're over 60 years of age, uh, you can get this service for free in our area. You cover 12 counties and uh, Citrus is one of those, so take advantage of the service if, if you're able to. I think we have a phone number that we'll put up on screen and a website too that uh, they can reach uh, your services at uh, CLSMA f.org if you're interested in checking that out on the web or 800-405-1419 uh, the phone number uh, to call uh, let's see I mentioned just before going into the break foreclosures and reverse mortgages one thing I want to be sure that we work into here though before I get too far down the road is uh, the legal services are having a gala coming up let's talk about that because it's a fundraiser that helps to offset the cost I'm sure of the legal services that you provide yes we're very excited about it um, it's going to be May 18th and it has the theme of the Roaring Twenties so it should be a great time we of course will have music and food and um, it is at the Orange County Historical Center um, which will be available to anyone who comes as well. So. And they can get tickets by just calling? Yes they can call or go on our website that's the quickest way. Okay. Uh, Foreclosures in today in today's age. A lot of people have questions about those. Um, what's the typical question that you get from consumers out there? Mm, there's not really a typical question because it's a wide wide range. Um, because you have lots of reasons for foreclosure. Most people think the bank, but you also have HOAs that can foreclose if you get behind on the your dues there. And reverse mortgages are an interesting foreclosure because you don't owe the mortgage, but if you get behind on the insurance or the taxes or don't respond to information requests, um, they can foreclose. Hmm. Do a lot of people know that going into it? They, I don't know if it's explained well enough when someone's going into a reverse mortgage especially the part of sending back the information. It comes in a little postcard and um, the homeowner is supposed to fill it out and send it back and it's to prove that they're still living on the property because if they're no longer living on the property, the company has a right to foreclose. So a lot of people who are elderly and are not expecting this mail assume it to be junk mail uh -huh. and they don't respond and the next thing they know they're facing foreclosure just for not filling out a postcard. A reverse mortgage in some cases can be very good for people sure. because it provides them money to meet their bills while at the same time allowing them to live in the home. But uh, again, we caution the folks out there, be careful and know everything that you need to do to keep that reverse mortgage going. And you're pretty much guaranteed if you do that to stay in your home till either have to move into a nursing home facility mm -hmm. or you pass away. Correct. Right? Yes. Um, there are a lot more laws that uh, we have to live by now when it comes to mortgages, period. Reverse mortgages are just one phase of it. Uh, there's companies out there, not just the banks, that also lend money toward homes as well, right? Yes, there are. There's a lot of um, private lenders or other types of lenders that are not big banks. And it can be great for people who have credit issues to get one of these other types of loans, but they have to keep in mind that um, a lot of times they're not um, required to follow some of the same rules as the big banks. So it can get you into trouble when you get a month or two behind with the big bank. Usually you can go ahead and catch up. You might qualify for a modification. Um, but you can get some assistance there. A lot of times these private lenders um, realize the price of the house has gone up and they just like to go ahead and take it back and, <laughs> and they don't work as well with consumers sometimes. So you do have to be very careful and understand yes. everything you're getting into beforehand. Uh, today there's a lot, I mentioned a lot of rules and regulations and it seems like the paperwork uh, gets more and more, the stack <laughs> gets bigger, uh, but uh, is it uh, fair enough when you go in for a mortgage, no matter who it is, to really take the time 
to go through that paperwork and not just take somebody's word for what this particular form is, right? Absolutely, and that's one of the services we are happy to offer. If someone has concerns about what does this paperwork really mean, um, we're happy to take a look at it. They can send it in, it can be reviewed and, and explained to ensure that the consumer really understands what they're doing. Now, I know you're a consumer uh, attorney, but does uh, the uh, Community Legal Services of Mid-Florida also handle any criminal issues? We do not cover criminal issues. Some of the other issues we cover are family law, um, domestic violence. We will help um, people who have those issues, children's rights issues, um, veterans issues. Hmm. So it's, it's a pretty broad range yes. of things that you do cover. Uh, again, phone number on screen if you'd like to call or the website. I guess the website's designed to answer a lot of questions beforehand too, right? Absolutely. We have a lot of frequently asked questions under each of the areas um, that we cover. All right. Uh, one more time, don't forget, they have a big gala coming up. It's uh, located uh, at the Orange County Regional History Center. Where is that exactly located at? Uh, the town? It's in Orlando. In Orlando, mm -hmm. okay. So it's not a big trip to South Florida or anything. Right. When I say Orange County, I think <laughs> sometimes the South, but Orange County being Orlando, uh, easy to go to. Uh, the Roaring Twenties is the, the theme. Yep. And again, it's uh, to m uh, raise money uh, again to help with the legal services that are provided by your department. Absolutely. All right. Well, uh, nice having you on the show and answering some questions. We'll have to have you back again, come up with uh, some different things that uh, consumers out there are concerned about. And uh, if, if you would like to send us a question or two, I'm going to do that as well. We can maybe uh, have that the next time you come back in. Absolutely. Absolutely. Be more yeah. than happy to. All right. Thanks for joining us. And thank you, too, also for joining us on this edition of Citrus Today.